Hi, this is Justin W. Hedges from Phoenix, Arizona. This pitch is for the Bozy Video Pitch Contest, which you can register for absolutely free at www.thebusinessshitshowinstitute.com forward slash pitch contest. The grand prize is an all-expenses-paid trip to Los Angeles, where the grand prize winner will be taking to real pitch meetings with real Hollywood decision makers. Please help me win by clicking the like button below this video. Help me become famous. If you're a screenwriter who'd like to register for this free contest, just go to www.thebusinessofshowinstitute.com forward slash pitch contest for all the rules and details. The script I'm pitching today is called Regular. This is an animated family adventure in the tradition of Up, Wally, and the Incredibles. Jonathan Quiggle is a normal boy in a world full of superheroes. When Craven Blackguard and an army of supervillains steals his superpowers away from the rest of the world's population, Jonathan and his regular friends must try and save the world and prove that heroes truly are defined by their actions and not their superpowers. Jonathan has waited his whole life to become super. On his 10th birthday, just like every other kid, he goes to the Super Cyclomegalotron to be turned into a super and start to learn his new superpowers. Unfortunately, this machine is only effective on most of the population. One out of every 10,000 kids or so, it has absolutely no effect on, and it has absolutely no effect on poor Jonathan. While Jonathan deals with the devastating news that he is going to be a regular for the rest of his life, Blackguard is initiating his plans for world domination and revenge. He has stolen the notebook of the Super Cyclomegalotron's inventor, Dr. Guggenheim, and he is using it to build a machine that will reverse the effects when Blackguard initiates his plan and turns the machine on. Jonathan and his regular friends, Sally Bradley and Wheels, get caught in the middle of the chaos at the mall. They narrowly escape an attack by the supervillains Ice Touch and Fire Hair, and unfortunately for Jonathan's parents, they get frozen in place in the mall while the kids escape. They seek out the help of Max Strong in the Super 3. It was Max Strong who told them that heroes are defined by their actions and not their superpowers. And they figure if anyone who has lost their superpowers is also far from helpless, it's Max Strong and the Super 3. Felicity, High Speed, and Crazy Ace. Now it's kind of funny because supers truly are helpless without their superpowers. They've lived so long with them, they don't know how to go through daily life without them. Undeterred, Jonathan has a plan. Go to the Super Cycle Megalotron, get their powers back, stop Blackguard. Unfortunately, the supervillain has beat them to it. He tried to destroy the machine, and when it turns out it's indestructible, he has stolen it. This prompts an argument between Jonathan and Max, his hero, because Max believes that they are on a foolish mission that's only going to get them hurt. Even without Max, Jonathan has a new plan. They're going to train the former supers, put them through basic training, try and whip them into some sort of shape so they can take on Blackguard with or without their powers. Meanwhile, Jonathan wheels and a new ally, a supervillain who has turned superhero, named Tommy. What they are going to do the three of them are going to Dr. Guggenheim's mansion to see, one, if he's still alive, because no one's seen him in a while, and two, try and get him to help them, or at least reinvent the machine so they can get the superpowers back to the supers and defeat Blackguard. Armed with the reverse circular cyclomegalotron weapons, a small army of former supers leave Jonathan and his friends behind with Max and Tommy for safety. Now, they do succeed in normalizing Blackguard's army, but not Blackguard and some of his key henchmen himself. You see, this is exactly what Blackguard wanted. This is exactly what he was going to do himself. He doesn't want all these supervillains around with all these superpowers to threaten his world domination and status as world emperor. So, all they've done is done him a favor, and in return, he has Ice Touch freeze the army in place so he can complete his ceremony and take over control of the world. Jonathan isn't sure what to do now, but Max finally mans up, goes in back, dons a brigade uniform, the regulars brigade, which all of the regulars kids belong to, and leads Tommy and the regulars into the fray. Despite their best efforts, Blackguard gets the upper hand again, until Dr. Guggenheim shows up. It's finally revealed that Blackguard is actually Kevin Guggenheim, Dr. Guggenheim's son. Dr. Guggenheim succeeds in normalizing Blackguard with Jonathan's help, and they defeat him for good. Now, the one thing that I really love about this story, the one 
lesson that gets taught through the whole thing is that heroes are defined by actions, not superpowers. It's a fun story. It's got everything. It's got stuff for the kids. It's got stuff for adults. Comedy, action. It's a little bit sad in the beginning when Jonathan doesn't get his powers and resonate with audiences. Thank you for your time. Once again, this is Justin W. Hedges from Phoenix, Arizona. This pitch is for the Bozy Video Pitch Contest, which you can register for absolutely free at www.thebusinessshipshowinstitute.com forward slash pitch contest. The grand prize is an all expenses paid trip to Los Angeles, where the grand prize winner will be taken to real pitch meetings with real Hollywood decision makers. Please help me win by clicking the like button below this video. Help me become famous. If you're a screenwriter who'd like to register for this free contest, just go to www.thebusinessshowinstitute.com forward slash pitch contest for all the rules and details.